up friends welcome back to moon spell tarot so today we are doing a pick a card reading finding out some pregnancy messages for you what do you need to hear right now regarding pregnancy will you become pregnant sometime soon and so i thought that this would be kind of a fun video for us to do i know that many people who are on my channel are wanting to get pregnant or wanting to have children in the near future so i like to do these types of videos for you all so I have three different piles here in front of me today. Um, each pile has some tarot, and then I'm going to do a live oracle shuffle as well once you choose your particular reading. So for pile number one, we have an opalite. For pile number two, we have a rhodonite. And then for pile number three, we have a clear quartz. So there will be timestamps down below whenever you're ready to go ahead and jump to your reading. So you could, um, you know, judge off the type of crystal if you have a favorite type of crystal. I know some of you always choose the same number. There's a variety of different ways. Whichever pile and whichever crystal is really speaking to you and is, you know, calling your name. And also because this is a, a messages type reading rather than... Um, you know, like a general advice or anything like that. This is more just like messages that you should be hearing right now. You could also choose more than one pile and that just means that those particular messages are meant to find you right now. So if you can't choose just one, you can do more than one. That is totally okay. So um, I'm going to like to give you guys a few moments to uh, think about which crystal really speaks to you and then you could go ahead and jump to your timestamp down below. So let's go ahead and take a nice deep breath and then I will give you all a few seconds to think about which crystal um, is best for you. So. Welcome back, pile number one. So this is if you chose this opalite. Okay, so I don't believe I mentioned the beginning of the video. I believe I um, skipped right over it. But I did make a little autumn blend for us, just inviting in, um, you know, blessings and abundance, especially for those of you who are maybe to, um, you know, maybe want to have like children soon. So the cinnamon sticks, um some dried oranges, some putka pods, and a clear quartz. So I just have that resting here on our altar, just inviting in, you know, positive energy. So let's go ahead and see what your pregnancy messages you should be hearing right now. Um, we will do our oracles next, but first I want to look at our tarot. So we have Ace of Pentacles reversed. We have a Four of Pentacles. We have the tower reversed, okay, and then we have a four of swords reversed. All right, so let's let's take a good look at our tarot and just kind of see. So, so from what I'm seeing uh, with your cards, I'm feeling like right now, especially with um, you know the ace of pentacles reversed, I'm feeling that you are not you know, receiving these, these things that you want right now in your life. I'm feeling that, you know, you are really desperate to have a family. I feel like that's so important to you. And, you know, I feel like you are kind of in that place where you 
um, are having these emotions and having these feelings that you're just not getting anywhere. And so that could be from you actually not getting pregnant right now, or um, maybe you haven't even found a partner that you want to have a baby with yet. So, you know, depending on where you are in that, um, you know, in that order, I feel like you're really suffering because you do desperately want a family that's very important to you. And, you know, you're really struggling with that. And, you know, I definitely do feel a lot of pain coming from that card. I feel like you're really, it makes you really sad and it's really like hard for you to, um, you know, continue going because you feel like you deserve it. You, you know, you want to have a child. That's something that is like on the top of your mind often, right? And, you know, what I'm seeing with uh, Four of Pentacles is that um, by in turn of you wanting to have this so badly that you are in turn putting a lot of like anxious energy out into the world. So it's something that you're probably not even intentionally doing. You know, I don't think that when you're anxious, you even intend for that to happen. But I feel as if you are putting some negativity out there because you, you desperately want something specific. So you are, you know, you have a lot of like nervous energy surrounding it. So, you know, um, even if you are single and you're looking for a partner, like if you do meet a potential suitor, someone that you may be interested in being with, um, you know, you may be turning them away with some of the, some of the negative parts of your personality. You may be like being a little bit overbearing or something like that. Um, and it, for those of you who are, you know, trying to actually have like a baby right now, like that is something that is like you're actively working on. Um, you know, I feel like when you are, um, kind of preparing yourself for the act, I feel like that you are being like overly nervous. Maybe you're being a little bit frustrated with your partner. I feel like there's just a lot of frustration surrounding the situation. So you are, um, kind of like overly, um, grasping at the situation. And so it's kind of like, turning away from you because you are putting a lot of like negative and anxious energy out there, which is very hard to not do that, right? When we want something so desperately and we just can't seem to like grab hold of it, obviously that's a very frustrating situation. But what I'm seeing, you know, with the tower reverse is that what you want is definitely coming your way. It's something that is, I feel like it's within reach I feel like it is so close for you. Um, even with Four of Swords Reverse, I feel as if you are putting a lot of stress on yourself, like we talked about before, um, you know, putting a lot of the, you know, anxious energy out, frustrated, like, energy out into the world. Um, you are not really taking care of yourself. You know, you're putting so much of your energy and thought into this that you are forgetting things about yourself. You are not putting yourself first. You're not enjoying your life. You're feeling very frustrated at everything. You know, I feel like even if something really small goes wrong in your life, like at work or just even like at home with your partner, you are, you know, turning that into a very frustrating situation and you're kind of getting mad about everything. And so I feel like that recovery is very slow and it's important to work on our happiness and our well-being so we can you know um manifest what we want into the world right so you know i'm feeling like when you are able to um you know take care of yourself and ultimately like realize that it's going to happen when it's going to happen. I don't, I feel like that this is something that you are trying to force and this is not really something that you can force. We can't force our body's chemistry. We can't force something like this to happen. So I definitely feel like it is coming for you. Like I said, with the tower reverse, I do feel like it's something that's coming in its due time. I do feel like it's not really far off into the future, but I feel like ultimately it is so important for you to kind of take a step back. I feel like in and like I said, in terms of you wanting to get pregnant, you are turning away important things from your life and you are only like focused on this. So maybe you have turned away some relationships, some people that really care about you because you are so focused on this particular task that you're not really um, focusing on, um, you know, the other things that are important in your life. So I feel like in a way you're kind of burning yourself out 
out and you are kind of like wearing your mind out where you're not able to focus on anything else and in turn other things in your life are suffering so again you know I would really concentrate and you know of course this is important and this is something that you can put a lot of focus in in your life but I do feel like again it is important to um to maintain our relationships and maintain other positive aspects in our life so when you do get pregnant and so when you you know and you need help from other people and you know you want everyone to be excited for you you want it to truly be a happy moment and you know everyone be welcoming of that and not just feel like you know you were being not so nice to them the whole time I feel like that you know maybe some people in your life feel as if you are um pushing them away and you know it makes them sad and I feel like in turn it's kind of hurting you as well because maybe you're thinking like nobody's really there for you um during this time so let's do a few oracles as well to see what else we can uh, find out about this situation okay so we will do these Oops, can't do that again. okay do four oracles and we'll pull a few more if we need to okay so we have faith so again you know um talking about uh four of swords reverse in the tower i feel like it's so important just to continue this faith that you are going to get pregnant i feel like manifesting a baby manifesting this life that you you know are currently wanting is so important you know um i think that a lot of people you know, and I feel like this is something that you're doing is too. I feel like that a lot of times when somebody wants to reach a particular life goal, whether that's like getting married, having a baby, um, finding like their career, you know, there are a lot of things, finding a house, things like that, that we all, you know, want and we all want to hit these life milestones, right? I feel like that when we are manifesting them and thinking like, this is what I want, this is what's important to me, I feel like in a way that we are kind of manifesting them in a negative way without even realizing. I feel like that we are um, kind of being very negative. We are putting negative energy out into the world. And, you know, that is definitely like hurting many people. And I feel like that that is one thing that's really hurting you, that you're not really like having faith that this is going to happen. You don't have... Um, that faith in yourself that you could do this, I feel like that you are very frustrated about the situation. And so you're kind of like turning away, you know, positive energy coming your way. So, and I'm not saying don't ever be frustrated. Like, of course, it's going to happen. We all have moments where we're aggravated and are not so nice, um, you know, obviously. But I feel like that this has kind of taken over your whole life. And it's something that you are actively like frustrated and angry about very often because you've been trying and you know for those of you who have been trying for a long time it could benefit you to you know get some help or something like that go see a doctor or something like that um but for those of you who maybe haven't been trying for a very long time and um you just are a little bit frustrated because it hasn't happened yet it's always good to be patient you know i think that our body tells us when we're ready for it when we um you know, when it's like the right time for us. And so, you know, I definitely do feel like it's important to have that faith that you are able to do this. This is something that is going to happen for you, right? And next we have centering. So this is another really important thing um, for those of you who are manifesting this life that you want um, for really like focusing all of your positive intention on exactly what you want in your life. So centering yourself can be very helpful. Um, you know, that could involve like taking a nice hot shower and letting the water run over you, just kind of um, like repeating slowly, like, you know, I want to have a child, I want it to be healthy, like asking for exactly what you want. You are manifesting that way, that is telling the universe, telling God, whatever you personally believe in, exactly what you want. So that's really important to do. So, um, you know, centering yourself. Also, like, um, if you live in an area where you're able to do this, stand outside, like in your backyard or something, where you're going to have privacy for just like a few minutes with like your bare feet on the ground. And again, just like reciting exactly what you want, telling the universe exactly what you want. That's very helpful. And that is 
not only like asking what for what you want, asking God, the universe, whatever for exactly what you want, but also that is like reaffirming to yourself that you can do this. That's kind of like hyping you up in a way. So, um, you know, I do feel like centering is very important, especially if you work at a very stressful job and you have a hard time like focusing your energy at times, you know, centering yourself can really help. And that really helps you um, manifest exactly what you want. Also meditating, um, just sitting down, taking several deep breaths in and out, that can help you out a lot as well with, um, you know, manifesting what you want. It's really important. And we also have choice. Okay. So what we spoke about with uh, Four of Swords Reverse in the Tower, I feel like ultimately right now, uh, pile number one, you have this choice as to how you want to continue to carry out your behavior. I feel like, again, because you're very frustrated, um, a lot of your intentions in your mind are very focused on like negativity. You're having a really hard time um, you know, doing exactly what you want to do right now, I feel like that that's just very frustrating for you. So again, um, I feel like you have this choice on how you want to behave because we can always control our behavior, but we can't control other people's actions and behaviors. So if, you know, let's say you are wanting to try one, you know, one evening uh, with your partner to have a baby and maybe they had to work late and it was something that they could not control, um, you know, blowing up at your partner and being very angry with them is, again, like pushing this positive energy of wanting a baby away from you because a lot of times there are things that happen that we cannot control. Or even if you're at work and somebody does something that makes you a little bit mad and you blow up at them, I feel like that you are so focused on having a baby that you're kind of like not really worried about how other people feel and you're just so lasered and focused that that's all that's on your mind and it's turned into kind of like almost a negative thing where you're like repelling positive energy. So ultimately you have this choice on how you want to behave and how you are going to act and how you are going to go about this as well. You know, going at it from a place of love and a place of, you know, positivity and the want for a family, I think is so important, right? And lastly, we have kindred spirits. So this is a really great card I find um, when it is pulled in um, pregnancy readings, um, especially pulling it with the tower reversed, I feel like is interesting because, you know, again, I do feel like you are going to conceive. I do feel like it just kind of takes some adjusting on your side. Um, but I do feel like that you are going to conceive and, you know, I feel like your baby is going to be like a little replica of you in a way. You are going to be like kindred spirits. I feel like you all are going to have a lot in common and it's going to be a really beautiful and positive thing to, you know, watch your child grow. And so I feel like that's going to be a really great and positive experience for you. And, you know, again, you two will be like kindred spirits. I feel like you two are going to like a lot of the same things. So you're going to be able to joy or enjoy a lot of things in life together. So, you know, I feel like that's really beautiful and positive and, you know, something to think about and something that can maybe help ease your mind a little bit. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. And again, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of that information will be in my description box. So thank you so much, and I hope you have a great day. Welcome back, pile number two. So this is if you chose this piece of rhodonite. So I believe I forgot to say it in the very beginning of my reading, but I'll just tell you guys real quick. I also made this little like blend for us. Um, this is just inviting in positivity, inviting in abundance. So I have this resting on my altar. It's dried orange slices, some putka pods and um, cinnamon. And then there's a little um, clear quartz in there as well. So this is just like inviting any energies or you know, any positivity in that wants to help you all in this journey. So let's go ahead and see what pregnancy messages you are supposed to be hearing right now. Um, we're going to look at our tarot first and then we will shuffle our oracle cards next, okay? So we have two of wands reversed. We have uh, five of pentacles reversed. We have the chariot reversed. Okay, a lot of reversals for you guys. And then a three of pentacles. All right. So let's take 
a look because your reading is interesting. Okay. All right. So what I'm seeing just right off the bat uh, with two of uh, two of wands reverse. Sorry. Um, you know, I feel like that ultimately you are struggling right now because I feel like you're ready to have a baby. I feel like that's something that is, you know, important to you right now. I feel like that's something that you really, you know, want in your life. And it's something that you are struggling with because it's something that you want, but there's, I feel like there's something in the back of your mind that is telling you not to do it. Um, or in a way kind of like self-sabotaging yourself because, you know, I feel like for many of us, it's like the intention we put into something. If, for instance, we're baking a cake and you tell yourself the whole time, I'm not a good cook. This isn't going to be good. I don't, I don't know how to cook. I'm not good at it. It's not going to taste good. So, you know, I feel like that it's all about the intention we put into something. So, you know, I feel like it's something that you do want. And I think it's something that when you see, um, people out with their children or maybe even like if you have a child that's close in your life maybe like a friend's child or like a niece or nephew something like that I feel like it's something that definitely makes your heartache and it's something that is important to you but you ultimately are struggling with that decision and it's something that you're having a little bit of a hard time with because you you know you are in a way like kind of sabotaging yourself you know, you're having this in the back of your mind, like, well, maybe it's not a good time, or maybe I'm not ready, or, you know, whatever the situation is, or maybe, like, your partner you're having second thoughts about, um, or maybe you're having second thoughts, maybe you think your partner doesn't really want to have a baby or something, you know, I feel like it's just, it's all in your intention, and you're um, kind of putting yourself on um, the back burner in your life, because I do feel like this is something that could happen to you, but because I feel like you're having a lot of these negative intentions, um, you could even put off, obviously, like, um, intimacy with your partner, um, something like that, because you are just kind of, like, worried about the situation, maybe you feel like you're not really ready, right? Um, and I feel like this is a really great card to pull, very interesting, um, with Five of Pentacles reverse, um, that is showing you that, this is like in a way how like a like a tap on the shoulder to like remind you to say, OK, it's time. Um, I feel like, you know, that that is what you really want right now. I feel like, you know, that it's important for you right now to have a family. I think that it's something that is on your mind very often. And you just again, just feel very frustrated about the situation you feel um you know, a little bit worried about the situation because you're worried that, you know, something might go wrong if you have a baby, something like that. I feel like it is, um, you know, something that's on your mind very often. But again, I feel like with five of pentacles reverse, that's just like a very firm tap on the shoulder to remind you that it's okay to move forward. Um, we never change in our life. Nothing ever grows from our life. If we never, you know, take any chances, if we never do anything different, um, so I feel like that that is what uh, Five of Pentacles is trying to remind you that it's okay to sometimes um, take a risk. And I feel like because this is ultimately something that you want very much and it's super important to you, um, you know, don't miss out on it because I feel like that if the time continues to go on and on and, you know, maybe there is a point where you're not able to anymore have children or, you um, you know, maybe if your partner really wants a child and you just kind of keep putting it off, you know, they might want to step away from the situation and find someone who does. So, you know, I feel like that this is a very firm reminder that, you know, this is what you want and this is important for you. So, you know, um, you know, don't second guess yourself. I feel like that ultimately you have to sometimes um, make hard decisions in your life in order for your life to, um, you know, continue to move forward and be happy, right? And with the chariot reversed, I feel like, again, this is another really great reminder that you're going in the right direction with this decision. I feel like ultimately, um, you know, this is going to make you happy. I feel like in your heart of hearts, you really know that this is what you want. But again, by kind of like overanalyzing the situation, overthinking it, um, not really giving yourself the opportunity to... Um, 
you know, even try, I feel like, again, you've probably like put off like intimacy with your spouse or you have even um, put off a lot of things because you were just kind of like worried in general about, um, you know, having a child. So this is something that you are probably even like putting off in every way. Um, and so, you know, I definitely feel like with the chariot reverse that is reminding you that it's okay, you're going in the right direction, you know, I do feel like this is ultimately what you want, and you're going to be, you know, very happy with the situation. I feel like when you do, you know, find out you're pregnant, I feel like that that's going to be a very, like, happy message for you. It's going to give you a lot of relief, right? And then with uh, Three of Pentacles, <laughs> um, I feel, you know, I feel like that's reminding you that right now in your life, you're in a good place. You know, I'm feeling like that if you pulled the Rhodonite uh, crystal, you know, again, um, the crystal that you all chose, that is like a really great crystal for, you know, inviting positive energy, inviting love into your life. And so I feel like that you are aware that things are going well for you. You know, maybe you have a really great job, you have, um, you know, you make decent money, maybe you have a partner that makes decent money, you have a nice place, you have people in your life that care for you. And so I'm feeling like that that card is a really great reminder to, you know, be grateful for what you have and that you are in a good place. You know, many people have children and they don't have any help, they don't have anybody that is there for them and it can be really hard and I'm you know you're really lucky I feel like that you have that situation of you know having people that care about you people that are going to help you um people that just want you to be happy so you know I feel like that card again is just a reminder to be grateful for what you have you know you could even um if you have like a small extra notebook lying around do like a daily gratitude journal every day take a few minutes just to write down um, a few things that you're grateful for and that you're lucky to have in your life. And that just helps like boost your self-confidence and boost your energy levels and, you know, just makes you feel a lot happier. And it helps you kind of like realize like I do have a lot of people that care about me and I do have a lot of people that ultimately, um, you know, will help me through the situation and it's not going to be as hard or traumatic as I think it is because, you know, again, I do feel like that you you do want to have a baby. It's something that is like on your mind, but again, you're kind of like self-sabotaging yourself, um, by continually like putting it off. And, you know, unfortunately with the cycle of our life, there is a point where it is going to be too late and, you know, you won't be able to have children anymore. So, you know, make sure you're making these positive decisions for yourself right now, if that is what, you know, you truly want in your life. So let's do a few oracles as well. To see what else we could find out for this situation. Ooh, okay. All right, so we will grab a few of these. All right. Okay, so let's see what else we have to know about this. Okay, a fiery climax approaches. Okay, so this is really great because I do feel like, you know, again, I feel like you have this, um, you know, decision to make for yourself. I feel like you have, um, you know, you have some things on your heart that you need to release. I feel like maybe you're having some anxieties, you know, again, maybe you're just worried about your capacity to be a good parent. You know, there's a lot of different things. It just really depends on your own personal situation. Um, but I do feel like a big climax is coming for you. I feel like that you are going to kind of like have this epiphany that you are ready and you are excited to do so. So, you know, for those of you who are, you know, wanting to have a child right now, I feel like that you are going to do some like inner digging and really find out exactly what you want. And if this is something that you want right now, I definitely feel like it's going to happen for you. Again, I just feel like you're kind of like putting it off a little bit um, and not even necessarily like intentionally, but I feel like with your thoughts regarding it, it's like causing a blockage somewhere that is like not allowing you to become pregnant right now. So, you know, I feel like again, keeping a gratitude journal, writing down exactly what you're grateful for, um, really digging deep to find out exactly what you want um, is very important right now for you. 
and we also have step out of your comfort zone so again you know this is really a great card for you uh, pile number two because I feel like that you guys are really struggling with your comfort zone you know maybe you have um, not been around a lot of children and you're worried about it you know I feel like there's a lot of situations that you know make people nervous to have children you know maybe you feel like you don't make enough money or whatever the situation may be but I feel like if this is something that you want badly enough and you feel like you are going to be a good parent and provide a positive life for your child. I feel like everything is going to align for you. And of course, things are going to be hard sometimes, but they're also going to be hard if you didn't have a child. You know, sometimes life is just hard. So, you know, I do feel like that uh, it's important for you to step out of your comfort zone because you're kind of hiding, you know, a way into your comfort zone and you're not really coming out and... Um, asking for exactly what you want. Instead, you're kind of like turning it away from you by, you know, um, like I said, kind of like negative, like unintentionally like blocking pregnancy with like some negative thoughts, some worries and anxieties that you may be having. And then we have emotions are running high. So again, this is a really great card because again, I feel like I feel like you pulled a lot of really interesting cards. Um, you know, I feel a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress uh, from this reading. You know, I feel as if you are struggling with, um, you know, feeling sad. I feel like you're struggling with worrying about your capacity to be a parent. I feel like you, you know, are probably worried about money. You know, maybe you're worried about how your partner will feel about you afterwards. Things like that. And so, you know... Again, like with talking about like a fiery climax approaches, I feel like when you do some deep digging into your own heart and figure out exactly what you want and, you know, figure out if this is the right time for you, you know, maybe you'll dig a little bit deeper and see like, you know, if there's like a possibility that you're not happy with your partner or you want to move in the next year because you don't like the town you live in or something like that. There could be a lot of reasons. Um, or, you know, even deciding that it is the right time for you. I feel like it's just important to really dig deep, meditate, and think about exactly what you want. You know, take some quiet time every day, write in your gratitude journal. Um, take a few minutes just to, you know, sit on the ground or sit on your couch and breathe very deeply. And just kind of be in your own thoughts and think about exactly what you want right now. Because I feel like that's so important. And I feel like that's a really great way to even, like, level out your emotions so you're not just acting on your emotions and um, making drastic changes to your life just based on your emotions, right? And lastly, we have luck is on your side. So again, you know, I feel like that when you decide that this is the right time for you, I feel like you're going to become pregnant very fast. I feel like you are going to be removing um, these blockages from your heart that is, you know, stopping you from being pregnant because I feel like you're your mind is like telling your heart that you're not fully ready. And so it's not happening right now for you, even though like, I feel like you want a child, but you're like unintentionally, like I said, adding blockages to your heart. So, but I do feel like luck is going to be on your side. I do feel like when you kind of get rid of these uh, negative thoughts and emotions in your heart, I do feel like you're going to become pregnant really fast and you're going to be really surprised that, you know, it happened so quick for you. And I feel like it's going to be, um, a very joyful and happy situation for you and your family. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. And again, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of that information will be in my description box. So thank you so much, and I hope you all have a great day. Welcome back, pile number three. So that's if you chose this clear quartz. And I believe I forgot to say it in the beginning of the video, so I'll just tell you all real quick. Um, I did make this little um, offering, if you will, just to invite any positive energies, um, any positive luck or help to you in this journey. I know it could be like a very frustrating situation, um, but it does have little puka pods. That's what the little pumpkin things look like. Um, orange slices, oops, and clear quartz and cinnamon. So that is... Um, just inviting some positivity and some warmth um, into our autumn because now is like the time to um, invite, you know, abundance into our life, right? Okay, so we're going to put our oracles off to the side and we will do our tarot first, okay? 
So we have the Empress reversed, King of Pentacles reversed, okay, Knight of Cups, and King of Wands. Okay, so interesting. So let's take a look at your tarot just to see what else we can find out first before we jump into oracles. All right. So with the Empress reversed, I'm feeling as if you are struggling with feeling very like low in your life. I'm feeling like there definitely, you know, needs to be a change. There needs to be some sort of, um, some sort of like different action in your life. I'm feeling like that you are, you know, very frustrated with yourself right now. And, you know, I'm feeling as if you're frustrated that you can't, you know, become pregnant. Maybe you're frustrated with yourself or your partner, or maybe even both. Um, I feel like the whole situation is just bad for you right now. And so part of me, I do feel like there does need to be a change for you. And we will, you know, obviously continue to find more out. But that is just like the initial thought that I'm having. Um, you know, I do feel like there is a very deep need for change right now. Um, and maybe you already know what that is. You know, obviously, um, these readings are meant for a wide audience. So they will differ depending on you as a person. Um, but I do feel like you know that there needs to be some sort of change. And with uh, King of Pentacles reversed... You know, I'm seeing as if, you know, I feel like right now you are, you're being very, how can I say, like aggressive in this situation. You know, you may be like, again, overdoing it. You may be, um, you know, being very forceful with your partner. Maybe you have a partner that isn't ready um, to have a child yet. And so maybe you're kind of like forcing it to happen. Um I feel like that you are, you know, maybe only being intimate with your partner at the times of the month where you may be like ov ovulating. Um, you know, I feel like that you are like in a way forcing the situation. You are not really being fair. I feel like maybe in a way to yourself and your partner, because, you know, you're not if you were like not really listening to your partner's needs, I feel like that that could be a little bit frustrating. Um, and also it could be like your own body's needs, you know, um, if you are really struggling with trying to get pregnant and, you know, maybe there's something you need to do to fix that. You know, a lot of people sometimes if they go to like, you know, a doctor to get help, they may find out that all they need to do is lo lose a little bit of weight, um, not drink, calm down on stress, things like that. So I feel like you're kind of forcing it in a way when it's just not the right time. And despite of you actually wanting this, I feel like there may be something in your life that does need to change. Again, you know, for some of you, it may be your partner, but for a lot of you, I feel like it may just be something that you're doing. You know, maybe you work at a job that is like incredibly stressful and it's number one, not going to leave a lot of room for you to raise a baby. Um, and also it's just adding a lot of stress to your mind where you're not able to, you know, relax and enjoy the time with your partner, um, and enjoy your life in general so you can have a happy pregnancy, right? So, you know, I definitely feel like this is something that's very forced right now. And it's, I feel like it kind of maybe t needs like to take a step back a little bit. And then, um, with Knight of Cups, that is just like reaffirming what I'm seeing. I feel like that that is you know, you're kind of like forcing something to happen, like just like, you know, on the artwork of the card, you know, the cat is like getting his head stuck in a flower pot. Um, so I feel like, again, taking that step back and realizing like what needs to change in your life. If you know, you know, maybe you drink a little bit too much sometimes that can sometimes cause problems. Um, eating very, very unhealthy. If you have like an underlying health issue that you haven't gotten checked out, you know, all of those things. Um, for some of you, you know, as this may be really hard to hear, but for some of you, you know, even if you have a partner that doesn't want children or is, um, is like not ready right now, like maybe you're ready, but they're not, you know, I feel like that can also be a thing where like you're forcing and it's just not the right time. Um, you know, it could be a variety of situations depending on you as a person. So, you know, again, I feel like it's really important to, you know, kind of take a step back and self-evaluate and see like, okay, I'm forcing this and it's just not the right time. 
um, allow yourself time to heal and allow yourself, you know, time to change, you know, again, and if it's like something that you have to go to a doctor about, like if you are, you know, seeing that you've been trying for a while and nothing's happening for you, um, and you go see a doctor and they want you to, you know, get blood work and find out exactly what the problem is, you know, maybe they'll find out that you have like a really minor underlying health condition that once you take some medicine, it'll happen right away. So, you know, I feel like for many people, there's a lot of reasons why it doesn't happen. It just kind of takes that step back and not being so like frustrated with yourself because a lot of times it's something that is out of your control, like um, a health problem. Um, and you know, you can lose weight, but that may not be like the main reason why you're thinking that you're not getting pregnant. You know, there's a lot of reasons. So, you know, I definitely do feel like it's important to kind of take that step back and, you know, realize that it's not just you and it's not going to happen for you because I do feel like it is going to happen. And with King of Wands, this is just a reminder again to, um, continue to, fight for something that you want and continue to, you know, hope for something and be faithful that something is going to happen to you, but also like when to stop when something's not working. So, you know, in terms of like your reading, I feel like, again, I feel like it's so important to, you know, get some help if you need it, find out exactly what's going on, but also, um, you know, continue trying. If you go and they tell you, okay, you have to lose 30 pounds or you have to eat, start, you know, drinking some, you know, something healthy every day or stop smoking or whatever, um, you know, continue to fight for what you want. Just, you know, learn to let up on things when they're not, um, benefiting you anymore. So, you know, I feel like that's a really great reminder to fight when it's important, but also learn to kind of step back. I feel like that's many hard, that's hard for a lot of people. And I'm feeling for some of you, um, in this reading, I'm getting some like fire sign vibes. I'm getting some Leo, you know, um, very like intense personalities, which is okay. You know, um, that doesn't make you like a bad person or anything like that. You know, we, some of us just have, uh, much more intense personalities. And so I feel like that it's hard for you to, um, kind of take a breather and step back and say, okay, this is what I need to know. This is what I need to do right now. This is very, you know, important. So let's look at our oracles as well. So yeah, I definitely do feel like, um, for those of you who are really struggling, I feel like taking a step back and, you know, maybe getting some help if you feel like you need it. And, you know, for those of you who maybe are in a relationship where it's not a great time, um, you know, learn to love your life right now and appreciate what you have right now. And when the right time happens, it will be a baby. But, you know, for those of you who maybe feel like there may be some um, medical issues, it's okay to see a doctor. Don't feel ashamed to do so to get some help, right? Okay, so let's do a few oracles as well. Okay, so let's see what else we have. All right, so we have key, seek no further, your aha moment is at hand. So again, you know, I feel like that you are going to, you know, kind of take a step back and realize, okay, like I'm eating really unhealthy or my job is insanely stressful and it's not very uh, conducive to a happy life, whatever your situation may be. Um, or maybe your living conditions aren't really conducive for a baby. Um, like if you live with someone else, you know, like family or something like that. I feel like that you are going to realize like, okay, this is not where it's at right now. I need to do something to change. And, you know, I feel like once you change, once you become happier in your situation and you've learned to let some of this anger go, I definitely see that you are going to be so happy. You're going to be you know, inviting a baby into your life. And that's going to be like the key to your happiness is, you know, changing some things. I feel like, you know, when you pull the Empress reverse, that is showing a very intense emotion of unhappiness and sadness, but it's also showing this opportunity to change. And so you can, you know, flip that card over and be the Empress, right? We also have fire. So again, for those of you who are some fire signs, take responsibility for your power. So again, this is important for you to remember that 
you are responsible for your own life. You are capable of changing some things if they are no longer serving you. You are able to um, change situations if they are not making you happy anymore. So again, if it's like your job that causes too much stress or somebody in your life that causes a tremendous amount of stress, it's okay to walk away from situations and find something better. Or maybe if you feel like you eat very poorly and you... Um, you know, maybe know that you need to lose a little bit weight in order to be healthy and in order to have a healthy pregnancy. You know, it's important to take responsibility for that and take responsibility for things that are in our control. Because I do feel like, you know, there may be some of you that there are situations here that are out of your control, but I feel like for many of you, it's a simple lifestyle change and then you're going to get pregnant right away. We have airplanes, spread your wings and fly. So again, this is just a really great reminder to um, listen to your own inner heart, listen to, you know, if you go to a doctor, what your doctor's telling you to do, and allow yourself to live your life and enjoy yourself and be happy and, you know, get the things you want out of life. I feel like that's so important. So, you know, um, just remember that your own inner happiness is very important as well. And, you know, I feel like that's something that maybe you're struggling with a little bit right now because you're very focused on this and you're very frustrated with the situation. And lastly, we have Angel tap into your higher wisdom. So again, this is really a great card for you to pull because, you know, I feel like that you are struggling with, um, you know, becoming pregnant and it's something that's really hurting you. It's something that you are having a hard time kind of like grasping a hold of. So, you know, tapping into your higher power and recognizing when something just isn't working and it's time to change, that's really a powerful thing and that's something a lot of people can't do. So congratulate yourself on being able to look into yourself and say, okay, this is a problem. I need to stop. Let me, you know, if you need to see a doctor or something like that, or if it's just something that you already know is kind of stopping you from becoming pregnant, or if you have a partner that they're not ready, giving them that time if you really love this person to become ready, right? So, you know, I feel like it's so important to tap into our own inner thoughts, our, um, our higher self, and recognize when you know, it's okay to sometimes take a step back and figure out exactly what the problem is so we can uh, then move forward. So thank you so much for watching this reading. I really appreciate it. If you liked it or it resonated with you, please give me a thumbs up down below. And again, if you're interested in booking a personal reading with me, all of that information will be in my description box. So thank you so much and I hope you all have a great day.